Welcome to my new studio. It's Royal here and I'm so glad you found me. I'm pretty excited to be in my new space, my new home, my relocation. Oh, it's been traumatic. <laughs> I had to fight through the cyclone. I had to bag up all that stuff. Oh man, if you watch the first episode, you're going to know all about it. Now we are in week three of our 100 days of collage and the theme is stairs or steps. And let me tell you, it's quite relevant <laughs> because life is a journey. And I don't know about you, but I have found my life to be rather a challenging journey. The steps I've taken haven't always worked out exactly how I wanted or landed me in the places that I really wanted to go. Sometimes the steps crumbled along the way or there's some serious cracks. So, so today in the studio, I'm going to encourage you and we're going to create beautiful collage in our art journal that's going to be inspiring and uplifting because if you've had any challenging seasons in your life, you're going to want to learn how to encourage yourself because baby, you are responsible for your happiness. So join me in the studio, gather your art supplies, and let's create something inspiring and encouraging in the next theme of our 100 Days of Colour. Right, so here we are in my fabulous art journal, and this is my inspiration today. I'm loving this image. I found it on unsplash.com, which is a royalty-free website. You can use the images on there for your personal use or commercial, yay. There are other royalty free sites and I would encourage you to find one where you like the images because you don't want to be harassed by someone for using that image and not having permission. So I always use royalty free images. I like the ruggedness of these steps because my life has not been an easy journey. Yours might be, have been smooth sailing. <laughs> But mine has not. <laughs> so I like the rugged steps. I like the rough rock. I like the way they have been um, cut out there. And it looks pretty cool. And I'm feeling it today. <laughs> so that's the inspiration. That's where I'm heading. I might stick it on, but I'm not sticking with it. I'm going to just be inspired by the composition. And then I'm going to use other papers and textures. And then get spontaneous and probably cover it with a whole heap of layers now we are doing two today so don't let me get carried away onto the other side because we're doing one on this page and one on this page because we have seven to do in the series of stairs and I only got through one yesterday <laughs> technically technically it's one even though there's two pages I did have a lot of fun and I loved that I started with this and it meant so much to me. Now, if you're worried about your pages sticking in your art journal, I just find that I like to use baking paper in between the pages because it stops them from sticking together because I use a lot of acrylic paint. I haven't found anything else to work. You can try all different, maybe mediums or waxes or something to rub on it, but I just put in baking paper and I'm quite happy. And I put the oversized piece in while I'm working on it. And then I cut that piece down when I'm finished and just put it in like this in between the pages. Because then they don't stick and then I don't have to stress. And this journal might sit for a while and then I open it up again and all the pages don't stick together. Yay! So that's my solution for the pages not sticking. And I use the bigger piece while I'm making a mess on my next page. So this is the inspiration and I'm going to use today some of my beautiful Nat Geo pages. Now, if you've seen my recent episode on dissolving National Geographic, you know it's a fabulous technique. The papers look amazing. The textures are incredible. They are unique, one of a kind papers, beautiful for collage and everything that we're doing with our mixed media. But the stuff's hard to get and it's smelly and it really is extremely messy. So I've created a whole heap of papers and then I scanned them and turned them into digital collage papers. Yes, I did. And I had them printed out. These are laser prints because I like slapping other paints and inks onto them, but you can print them out with your inkjet if you want to. And you can get my whole pack on Etsy, 
Yay, I have 12 of these papers in the pack of digital collage papers from Dissolving My Nat Geos. This is the pack. It's absolutely fabulous. I had so many to choose from, but I stopped at 12 because the downloads are so big. <laughs> There's two files. Each file has six of these images in it and when you print them out they're like this a4 um, now if you print them on your inkjet the colors won't be as vibrant i don't think unless you've got a really good printer i don't have a good printer so i got mine printed out at um, warehouse stationery and i like getting laser prints because i said i covered them with matte medium and ink and paint and whatever i want so i'm going to use these today now you can find the link in the description under the video to click on if you want to get some of these it just means you don't have to make all that mess and have all that smell but you get to use this incredible texture they're so unique and beautiful i just love them so i'm now using a whole heap of my own printed nat geo pages i do have the originals that i use but these ones don't smell so you know <laughs> it's a win-win right so we're using some of these today's for our steps and that will be absolutely fun. I also have some of my beautiful painted colored tissue that I make. This was white and I painted it with acrylic inks and acrylic paint and I used up the ends of the bottles of the golden fluid paint, which is a fabulous way to get all of the paint out. So uh, if you haven't seen this particular video, I'll put a link to the video of how you make this beautiful, gorgeous textured paper because it saves you money, you use up your paints, and it makes incredibly beautiful organic shapes and incredible textures. I just love it. So we're going to be using some of this paper as well. Yay! This is just beautiful. And because we want to encourage ourselves, I also pulled out one of these pads of Tim Holtz ideology words because what we're going to do is use some statements and some words in between the steps as our grouting because we have to encourage ourselves. <laughs> You have to be your own best cheerleader because life is tough and some seasons are really hard. So we're going to use some of these positive statements, affirmations and encouragement, white or black. You can see I've already used some um, as the grout in between our steps because we just have to encourage ourselves, especially when the seasons are difficult. So that's what that is. We're going to be using that as well. And I think that's a really fun idea. And yes, I found it when I was packing up my stuff and moving. <laughs> right. So let's start with making some steps on here. And then we'll put in our fabulous grouting of encouragement and some rocks on the side with the beautiful colored tissue. Yay. Solid plan. The only thing is, oh man, how do we start? Because... They're such beautiful papers, I don't even want to rip them up. My steps are going to go something like this and I think what I'll do first is stain the background so that I don't have to worry about gaps 
in my page and then I can put the fabulous words wherever I want to put them. All right, that sounds like a really good idea. Right, so I'm just going to use the eye zinc in coffee, going to move my steps out of the way. And I'm just going to stay in the page so that if I've got gaps in my steps, it's not going to bother me. Otherwise, it would bother me. It would irritate me immensely. So we don't want that. We don't want that. Now, it doesn't matter that it's gone over on the other side because I'm not going on the other side, am I? No, no, no. I'm going to do two pages today. Now, I'm going to um, just straight away work on this page so that I think stain might go a little bit on my papers, but don't let that bother you. See, look how cool that looks. That's got a nice colour and a little bit of texture, roughed up the paper. And that is really cool. I'm loving that. Now, I like to use matte medium when I collage because I like brushing it on. I come from a painterly background and brushing the paper makes me happy. So that's that. Yes, it might stain a little bit because the eye zinc's still wet. And, you know, you wouldn't want me to have to wait now, would you? <laughs> so we just jump in and plow ahead. This little bit is from um, yesterday's collage and I liked it. So I left it on there and that's okay. Just going to give it a nice coating and put my fabulous steps back. Now, remember, your image of inspiration is only that. It's for inspiration. Don't get stressed out with trying to create something exactly. I liked the way the steps were so rough. I liked the rocks and the texture and the pattern. And so I'm inspired by the way they curve up like that. But it's not going to look like that. That's not the whole purpose of it. It's just to springboard your creativity and get you going. That's what the inspiration is for. It's not for you to create an exact copy. It's just to get your creativity moving so you get going in a certain direction. It could change at any given moment. We could do anything else. So don't get stressed out about trying to make it look like the picture if you've downloaded something because that stifles your creativity and we're not about that. We are all about encouraging our creativity, embracing our imperfections and having a really good time, really. I mean, I mean come on. It's got to be fun because if it ain't fun, I'm not going to play. <laughs> and that's just that. Now, this will probably change as I'm putting it on my page because I just kind of go with the flow. I'm already bumping my steps into each other. And I'm pretty sure I didn't do that when I started. But, you know, that's fun. I might even do a whole different thing once I actually put the matte medium down and start playing with the paper i could change my mind and do a completely different thing and that's what creativity is all about you need to go with the flow of how your collage feels on the day that you're making it because it does change from one day to the next with the colors that you like with the compositions you want to choose so don't hold yourself captive to a for it to have to be one way or another. Just go with how it feels for you when you're creating it. It's about trusting yourself and allowing yourself to create intuitively. And if you don't like it, you can change it. You can paint over it. You can add more papers to it. Oh, there's so many things with collage that we can do to make something better that we don't like. That's what I love about it. It is such an incredibly forgiving medium because you just keep working until you like it. And if you're not liking it, well, then it's not finished. Quite simple, really. Just keep at it. See, now my steps are completely different to how I thought I might put them when I started. But I'm loving it. I need another little red piece at the top. Because red's always the best. Just at the top here. Hey, right there, loving it. And that's looking pretty good. 
a little wonky, but you know, you know. <laughs> I'm okay with a little wonky. <laughs> there you go. Look at my steps. Fantastic. <laughs> that totally wonky. I love it. <laughs> now, what are we going to do with the rest of this background? We have the fabulous coloured tissue. But I think we might put the words in next because I've got a feeling that it's quite possible I might cover the whole thing with the colored tissue because you know i do get a little carried away i know i do know that <laughs> so let's put in some of our words of encouragement and we might use the matte medium to stick them down because um i don't know how sticky they're really going to be do we want white or do we want the black well clearly i like the black because i've used it before now you are responsible for your own happiness so you have to learn to encourage yourself. You're not going to always get the external encouragement that you would like or you should get. And really, that's just how it is. That is just life. So when you're creating your art, encourage yourself. What makes you happy when you create? What colors do you like? What textures are you drawn to? Especially when you're doing an art journal spread, you don't even have to show anybody. It can just be yours. So you can put anything on the page that's going to make you happy. So let's look at these statements and let's see what we like. For a start, I'm loving this. Live every day with intention. Yes, that's a good one. Let's put this up here. We're going to use it for our mortar in between the cracks of our steps. I'm liking that. Live every day with intention. Because sometimes you just have to. You have to. You intentionally have to be happy. <laughs> oh, loving this one. If you're lucky enough to be different, never change. There you go. Stop stressing about your creativity and your artwork that it's not like everybody else. Well, good. It's not supposed to be. There you go. If you're lucky enough to be different, never change. Oh, loving that. These are so fun and so easy. Great statements. Be awesome today. Yes. Yes, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Be awesome today. We're putting that up near the top here because it's nice and short. Yay. That's going to go right there. Loving this plan. This is just fun. Good things are going to happen. Okay, now we're choosing these statements. We're saying this is my life and good things are going to happen. Yes, I'll have that. I'll have me a bit of that. That's awesome. I'm just covering with the matte medium because I don't know how sticky these stickers really are. I don't really trust stickers, so I like to cover it with a little bit of matte medium to make sure it stays there. Ha! <laughs> Love this one. Trust your crazy ideas. Okay. <laughs> Trust your crazy ideas. That's just fantastic. Love it. Oh, yes. Today is full of possibilities. Man, we are on a roll. On a roll. I'm telling you, this is a fun exercise to do because it will encourage you as you speak out these statements you choose the ones that you want so it's all about what you want in your own life hold on tight to your dreams that's right don't give up don't give up i'm telling you don't give up yes we'll have some of that oh that is so true creativity takes courage yes it does where do we want it i'm liking the pattern it looks pretty cool all right let's put it here Creativity takes courage. It really does. Besides the fact that you have to have courage to even get yourself moving to make something, you have to have the courage to do what you really want, to have the convictions that your art's important and you have to fight for the right to be able to create. Sometimes it is a real challenge, but it's worth it. It really is worth the challenge and the struggle to create because it gives you incredible sense of self. Oh, yes, happiness depends on ourselves. Didn't I just say that? I did, I did. 
<laughs> I just said that. <laughs> your happiness is your responsibility. <laughs> and if this makes you happy creating your art, then baby, you have to do it. You have to. It's better for everybody else around you if you do. <laughs> do what you love. Hello. Love what you do. So this is pretty fun. I'm loving it. These statements are great and it's an easy way to encourage and affirm yourself with your creativity. Oh, loving that one. When nothing is sure, everything is possible. Yes. <laughs> oh, where am I going to put it? <laughs> I'm running out of space. Oh, man. Oh, down there. Let's put it at the bottom. Where nothing is sure, everything is possible. Oh, love that. Righto, we'll find one more to put in that spot. And that is just fun. There you go. Believe in yourself, baby. You have to. You have to believe that what you're creating has value, that it's worth your time and energy because it's an expression of who you are and how you feel about life. Righto, that's beautiful. Loving the statements. We could add more, but we'll think about it. Let's put on some of that beautiful colored tissue and then we could always add more if we want because there's always more. <laughs> there's always more. Now I've got some bronze colors and some of my favorite beautiful purple color. So we, of course we might start with that, okay. It's always best to start with your favourite colours. That's what I find. Because it makes you happy. So I'm just going to add some of this fabulous coloured tissue around the edge of my glorious steps. What do you think of my steps of encouragement? You know, I could just keep fiddling for hours, seriously. <laughs> it's so much fun filling in all the little gaps. <laughs> so be awesome today. Good things are going to happen. Live every day with intention. Trust your crazy ideas. Have an open heart. Today is full of possibilities. I mean, this makes an awesome poem and we put them down so randomly. How incredible is that? <laughs> Hold on tight to your dreams. If you're lucky enough to be different, never change. I oh, love that. Happiness depends on ourselves. Creativity takes courage. Do what you love, love what you do. Believe in yourself. When nothing is sure, everything is possible. Oh my Lord, I just love that. That is fantastic. Especially coming out of picking out random statements from one of those little pads of words. And look at that. We have an incredible poem to encourage ourselves today. Oh, I just love it. And it's beautiful because, you know, it's got to be pretty. Loving them. That's some of my favorite colors with my favorite types of paper. The Nat Geo paper and... The Glorious Coloured Tissue are two of my favourite collage papers. Now, yes, it's very wet. I'm going to let it dry and then think about if I want to add anything else. But this layer clearly has to dry first. Oh, man. And we are going to do something on this page. So I'm going to go and find the inspiration for this collage because we're on a roll now. We can't stop. <laughs> It's just too much fun. So instead of pulling out the stencils, I pulled out my scrap bag because I just thought some of these beautiful 
textured papers might look really nice just in another layer to just add a little more interest because I do love multiple layers when I collage and I've got so many fabulous little bits and pieces in the scrap bag. I mean, look at that random shape. That would look really nice like on there against the gold running down the side. I don't even have to cut it. <laughs> it's in a good shape. I'm loving that. That is fantastic. Let's have some more of that. The white looks nice. The black's going to look great. What else have we got? Oh, some bubble wrap. I love the gold print. It's actually bronze, golden bronze. Fine. On the white tissue, it looks awesome. If I had somewhere to put it, I would. I do love this white one as well. And that goes quite transparent. So that makes a fabulous texture for another layer. Yes, I'm just going to put some on. Okay, we're just going to. We're just going to go for it. Just going to put a layer of paper on that I know goes quite transparent. It also absorbs the inks that I've sprayed on the papers underneath. So sometimes it tints them another shade, which is really cool too. We'll just see how it goes, but it's so beautifully fibrous. This one is the Agoura Lace. And that is just beautiful. You can get that in the paper packs from Taperology. Oh man, and I'm just loving it. Yes, I'm going to put the black on here because, you know, we do have to add just a little bit of drama. <laughs> just just a little bit, just a little bit. And I just love the way the shape of it is. I don't have to cut it or tear it or do anything to it. It's already in a really groovy shape. And look at the fibers. Look at that texture. It's just fabulous. Yay for the scrap bag. I think I'll put some of this one on as well because I just love it. It's just so incredibly soft. Just pulling out a bit from the edges so it's not so straight. And we'll just put it in places to add a little bit of texture. Another layer on the collage. Yay! That's going to look beautiful. Might put another little piece over here. Just beautiful. Is there anything else we could add? <laughs> like, <laughs> somebody stop me. <laughs> we could add those, but we don't really need to, but I really want to. <laughs> then you won't see the words, but you know they're there, right? <laughs> you know that it says something. I'm putting it on. I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> right across there they go quite transparent <laughs> so i just think it's fun i love my scrap bag full of so many shapes and textures and small pieces of paper yay i'm doing it right there i know i just covered that line but it's okay i already told you what it said so you know absorb that into your heart it's all good <laughs> oh you can still see it yay <laughs> that's fantastic <laughs> Actually, I could probably tear out the middle pieces and you'd still see it. Okay. Maybe we want that to be under the black. See, while everything's still wet, you can kind of still keep moving it around. Yay. That's going to work. Fabulous. I found a little spot just for this. <laughs> this for my beautiful bronze bubble wrap print. Ah, oh, love it so much. So I'm putting that there and then I'm backing away from the page. I'm going to let it dry, see if I'm happy with it. And then we're going to do the next page. So I'm going to go and find the inspiration for the next page. And we're just going to have to do one more. We just have to. It's so much fun. Looking good, I'll let it dry. All right, walking away. Here I am, backing up. <laughs> oh, man. I just love it. 
Right, so this side is drying really well. I'm really happy with how clear it's coming up now that the matte medium's drying. And this is my inspiration for this side. Again, it's, this image is from unsplash.com. I just love it. It's my go-to website. When I'm looking for images, I just typed in stairs and you get a whole abundance of inspiration. Loving this. I love the shape. I love the door there. I love that there's a little, I think it's a bird flying up there. Looks like it, although I need a magnifying glass to really see it. But yeah, I think there's a bird there. That's pretty cool. And I'm going to use the papers that I still have um, scattered around me here on my desk. I'm going to stick the image on this time and then I'm going to surround it with these beautiful papers that are all laying around me, the Nat Geo papers and the fabulous coloured tissue. And then I'll think about what I want to do after that. This is looking great. I'm loving it. And it has such a personal and encouraging meaning. And that's the whole point of creating in your fabulous art journal. So you can encourage yourself, you can develop your creativity and you can have fun along the way. Yeah. So I'm loving this. I think it started off beautiful. Um, that's the Nat Geo pages, the printed version. Hello, look how good they look. <laughs> and I actually think they're even easier to use than the originals because they don't crinkle. Yay. And this is the colored tissue, the exact same process. I've just used silver ink and some black by the looks of that. Leftovers, just saying so good to use the leftovers of your ink bottles and make fabulous collage papers so that when you do a crazy idea like a hundred days of collage you have fabulous papers to use right this is looking beautiful i love this image what else are we going to do to it to create another layer you know i'm thinking back to my beautiful scrap bag some of this Ogura lace in black, oh yes, would create some drama. And maybe some of the gossamer paper in black. Sure, I've got some of that in this scrap bag. That would also look fabulous over the top of the beautiful Nat Geo pages because then you still see the glorious patterns underneath, but you're just creating another element that adds more interest to your collage. I'm going with this piece because hello, look how awesome that looks. Yes, and then we'll decide if we want to add any more to the rest of it. How far up do we want to go is the question. Now the Gossamer paper looks fabulous and don't forget if you want to know uh, where to get the glorious art supplies that I love so much, have a look. In the description under the video, there'll be lots of links there for you. Now, I'm loving this. I don't think I want to add <clears throat> too much more to it, but I'm really tempted just to splash some inks around because <laughs> why not? I love this image. I love the shape. I love the bird in the center there. I'm loving the texture. The Nat Geo pages are fabulous. So I just want to add a couple of little splashy bits just to tie these background pages 
together. Now, don't freak out, you know, if you do something like this and you don't like it because you can just get a cloth and wipe it back off again. You have to at least try, right? Be brave enough to try because creativity takes courage. <laughs> We've already established that. <laughs> Maybe we should have creativity requires a little bit of craziness. Yes, we do understand that as well. But that is looking beautiful. It's very metallic. Let's have it running down like that. Oh, yes, that was a good idea. I know it's scary, but man, that looks good. Run it down the page. So it just has that beautiful metallic shine running down the page. These are the um, Pearlescent FW acrylic inks. And they have the beautiful metallic pigments in it as you see them running down the page. I love them. I use them all the time. Now, I will have to let this dry, but I'm pretty happy and I'm going to leave it alone now because I just love it. We'll see if it comes up just as good as it dries and if I'm just as happy. Now, while this page is drying, I had a little glance over here and this is dried up beautiful. I'm really happy with this. I just need to trim the edges. And then I was thinking that something could go right there. Now, what could that be? <laughs> so I pulled out one of my new favorite <laughs> obsessions with taperology, these glorious wax seals. And I'm thinking, yes, I know, I know. I'm going to get carried away with these. I just know it. But they are amazing. I mean, look at them. They're absolutely so beautiful. So I'm going to put one of these. What about this one with the, the moon and the clouds on it? And I think it would go right there on that black Ogura lace. And it would look just amazing. What do you think? What do you think? What, uh, yes, doesn't that finish it off nicely? I think so. I'm going to do it. Yay! I'll show you when it's all dried. joining me in the studio today i really hope you were encouraged and inspired yay and learn some tips and techniques along the way now don't forget if you want more information or you want to know where the links are discount codes they will be in the description under the video have a look they're always there along with my art supplies my favorite things where you get the stencils, how to find the Nat Geo pages. It's all there in the description. So have a little look and you'll find all the information that you need. Now, don't forget, I have a playlist of all the videos. If you've missed any episode, you can find it there. And if you like and subscribe, hello, you're going to need to do that to be notified when the next video is up because I'm on a bit of a creative mission to catch up. <laughs> I lost a few weeks there along the way in my transition, but now I'm catching up with a whole load of videos. So you want to be subscribed so you know when the next one's up. And I hope you're going to join me for our next episode in the studio.